Hello everybody and welcome back to Splatoon with me Robotic Lizard. So it's a new day, we've got new stages and apparently there's going to be some new things in the shops as well. So let's go and take a look. Let's pay Christy Sean a visit first. I might just start every new day's video off with this. Hey there Squiddo. Right, so what shoes have we got? Zombie high horses. Let's uh, have these being tried on. These cyan ones look pretty good. White kicks as well. Eh. I'm gonna give these cyan trainers a go. Get some extra damage. I'm gonna equip those straight away. What about in terms of t shirts? Right, we've got this one that we've already gone on. This hasn't been changed. Black squid eye with uh, an armband. A sunny day tea and rainy day tea. Um, I think for the time being I'm going to buy these two. It's a sunny day today so I'll equip that and I'll also buy the rainy day tea and keep that for later. Would have been appropriate yesterday. I was going to record another episode yesterday but it started healing so hard that it would have interrupted the video and then other people came in and nah. So like I don't really want a cat that gets rid of the tentacles at the top, they look cool. So we've got specs and shades, eh, we've got a golf visor, a b-ball headband, and this tennis headband. Um, I think I'm going to buy these last three. Maybe? Maybe not that one. I'll buy this and I'll may as well equip that now. Oh, I hit it to skip what he was saying. Uh, and the tennis head and it has come back on it. Actually, I'll equip that now and see how that goes. I'll be back. Right after respawning, some of your abilities are boosted for a short time. Hmm. That's pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure I don't have anything new in the weapons shop. Uh, it doesn't restock every day, it changes every time you get a level up. So I'm not going to go over the splat charge of the roller and the splatter shot, but I have been trying out some other weapons and I'm going, I've found that I really like this Tentatech splatter shot. The, uh, the special weapons on it, definitely better than the regular one and it's a pretty good weapon for my style. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a go with all this stuff. So today, well this four hour segment of online multiplayer stages are the two that were in the test fire, uh, Walleye Warehouse and Salt Spray Rig. And I finally said that one right. <laughs> uh, the pronunciations. My mouth doesn't like them. Alright, here we are. I've got a bunch of people. As you can see, they're the two maps that we've already had to go out in the test fires. Right, we're on pinks. And we've got a weird yellowy colour. So, tend to take splatter shot. Same stats as a regular splatter shot. Uh, same general way of playing it. However, it has different sub weapon and special weapon. So, as you can see, I have such. Mm, okay. I have suction bombs as my sub. I'm gonna need to readjust. I always have to take a little while to readjust to the controls. After I've not used them for a while. It, it's not one that comes naturally to me. But I, I seem to be getting the hang of it. It should be quicker every time. Uh, the, uh combination of motion and stick is diff difficult to get used to, but just using the stick would be difficult for me as well. Yeah, I have suction bombs. Nice. We're getting all the kills today. So yeah, I have my special right here. Uh, I think I'm going to try and use it from the top of this section. 
Maybe jump on top of those crates in the middle. And here we go, Inkzooka. And I've fallen off. It does push you back a bit when you use it, which is a little strange and tough to adjust to, but... Um, it's pretty fun. It's more fun to use than the Bomb Rush. I'm not a big fan of that one. It's basically just, hey, it's a weapon, use it a lot. And uh, honestly, it's probably probably the weakest of the bunch. At least I don't really know how to use it all that greatly. Did someone get an in strike here? This looks like the uh, the tornado. Oh, they've gone full on cracking. No, couldn't do a thing. Have we got any teammates nearby? This guy, Jackson. Let's jump to him. Get right back in. I can't yet let Yellows take over this area. Got the Inzuka again. Let's try and jump up there. Oh, that was one of theirs. Uh, hmm. Oh, they have this Flutter Shop Pro. Oh, they've got an Ink Strike right on top of our base. Why? Um. Oh, that was very close. Just over 2%. Well, still, that's not all that bad for the first game. I did the best out of our team, so that's commendable. Did pretty well at the start there as well. Let's move on to the next round. There we go, full lobby. Let's go. Here again. Got a nice mix of weapons on our team. I may as well get this starting area. As is one of our teammates. Okay. Right, I'm gonna head down this way first. middle, cover up their side a little bit because I can get quite a bit of range there. They have someone with a roller up there it looks like based on how I change their spot on. Just throw that such and bomb over there. I think they've either gone or got splattered. Maybe they left for a moment. Oh they went full on cracking. You can't see me. That was just in case they came back around. Is that someone on our team? I can't get up there. Yeah, this is. Oh, they got me. Yeah, they got that crack on the splat roller. Oh, I, I was trying to look at the gamepad and move at the same time and it just completely fell apart. Eh, no point in super jumping to my own. I'm going to try and take that top area back. Seems like there's some of the uh, launch and ink strike over that way to where the others are. Oh, 
Oh, that was stupid. I didn't really aim that very well. Nope. I couldn't really do much there. Have I got anyone close by? This guy. Let's back him a little bit. Could do with the help. Oh yes, throwing out the ending strike. Very nice. I do like this whirly pattern it leaves on the floor. Very artistic. Set this off a little bit. Well, I got someone at the end there. That that top area <laughs> looks like sporadically 50-50 between us. Oh, 0.8%. Very close indeed. I think we should get some new uh, abilities on these on this gear now. Yep. Here we go. What are they? I couldn't tell. I'm going to quit out and take a look at those, actually. Right, so my equipment is... I have Special Saver, Ink Recovery Up, and Bomb Range Up. Um... I think what I'm going to do is uh, switch to this hat and see if I can get the uh, the uh, extra ability on that one. And we can go with that. Actually, I might try out a uh, different weapon as well. Let's see, what have we got? Um, I think we're going to have a go at this and then switch to the 52 gallon at the, towards the end of the video. I think we can do easily do two matches with each. That should last a nice amount of time. Of course I didn't have a match with the other one on this map. I've got someone who's completely single player. Someone who's got the, uh, the samurai body only. Let's uh, hop onto this middle platform here. Oh, I got that nicely. What's my... Oh, I didn't have the shield. Custom Splatshot Jr. What is my secondary weapon? Oh yeah, it's the, uh, the point sensor. So if I hit someone with that, it will show their location for me. I'm getting too close. I need to hold back a little bit. Maybe not take this route but go around the side a little. I don't quite have the range to reach there. One problem, I can't refill my ink on there. I suppose I could just back off a little bit. And right there. <laughs> nice try. I didn't see them though. Hmm. 
Good. I got splattered by someone good. Okay. Stay hidden. Oh, I only just didn't manage to get them. That's a little disappointing. Oh, you get out of our base. Well, that's all I could do. I think we've lost that one. Yeah. I don't think I'll have contributed much to the team in terms of points either. Well, I wasn't bottom. And we got level up out of that. Nice. I'm gonna do one more match and see how it goes. See that's the problem. We're in we're in with a level ninety two level nineteens now. Okay, let's see how I do on this map. Here is probably a good idea for me. No, nope, they've nearly got me. Oh, I fell off. <laughs> Oops. It's not what I was aiming for, but we'll go with it. We'll continue. I'm gonna go back over there though. Tough to keep that area with my colouring. Let's throw that over there, see if there's anyone nearby. Yes, there is. I think that'll let my teammates get them. I don't have the range to reach over there. Oh. I couldn't move out the way quick enough to get rid of them. Yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm definitely not as good with the charger weapons. And someone on their team used the echo locator so they can see where I am. Which isn't ideal. I feel like I should try moving elsewhere. I didn't mean to jump off that right then, but okay. So much blue, can't maneuver through it. Right. Where can I help out? Where are some people to get rid of? Right here. Ugh, they turned around quicker than I could. Sadly enough. Yeah, I need to clear out and switch weapons. They have a lot of this map. Did a final bit of help for the team covering that massive area there, but not enough. I didn't think it would be. 
Oh well. Yeah, charge weapons, not my forte. Let's go back and try something else. Exit and back to equipment. And we're going to give this one Luna. Actually, good thing of it, that should be a good length of an episode. So uh, I'm going to leave it there for the time being. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.